based on the uh, export customer expectation, MBDA decided to invest in the counter drone systems uh, for the naval uh, domain. So based on ex experience for Skywarden, Skywarden is a GBAD, ground-based uh, counter drone system, counter US system. The idea is to try is, uh, to adapt Skywarden to naval platforms. Uh, based on a modular and uh, deployable uh, C2, command and control system. And uh, you can adapt different types of effectors and sensors in a plug and play approach on this uh, C square. And uh, the idea is to have it uh, adapted to naval, uh, naval platform or to protect uh, naval uh, maritime areas such as uh, naval straits or uh, uh, harbor, harbor approaches or maritime approaches or offshore zones. So I think the challenge of uh, the counter drone in general and in particular for the naval domain is the wide uh, spectrum of threats. If you talk about the naval domain, you have to counter uh, UAVs from micro drone up to uh, small and even uh, large drones. And you have to counter as well uh, unmanned surface vehicle. So you have to uh, be able to propose to the customer uh, a wide range of sensors optimized to detect very small objects up to uh, effectors able to neutralize bigger objects or even surface objects. So for example, you have here uh, Mistral, which is produced by MBDA. Mistral missile is an anti-air uh, system, but with uh, anti-surface capability. And Mistral is part of the, uh, of the uh, adaptation of Skywarden to the naval domain, but not only. Uh, we integrate as well jammers, uh, very uh, optimized detection system for very small objects, and uh, MMP, which is uh, the uh, anti-surface missile, which could be used as well to counter some uh, suicide USV, for example. Uh, you know that the drone threat is very evolutive, so what we are trying to do is to see how we could adapt the Skywarden to naval platform, and then what type of effectors and sensors could be um, adapted to it. Uh, the other important point for, for the naval domain is if you look at the wide range of possible platforms, uh, ranging from a, a very complex uh, combat platform with a, a ship combat system to a logistic platform with almost no combat system, you have to adapt the, uh, the system to these different configurations, different platforms. So at this stage, it's still an investigation, development, and no in-service date yet.